Today we're going to be going through a short series of exercises that we hope are going to work your abs and core. Join me on the mat and let's get started. Okay guys, we've got eight exercises for you today. We're going to do each of them for 40 seconds and then we're going to take a 15 second break in between each one. Once you get to the end of the video, if you'd like to start over again, we're going to give you a recommendation on how many laps to do based on your difficulty level. Okay, in five seconds, exercise one comes up and we're starting with a standard leg raise. Off we go. We bring the shoulders down onto the ground, toes come out in front. If you want to modify to make it slightly more difficult, the hands come across the chest. And this one's just a nice and slow and deliberate exercise. So we don't have to do it quickly. What I want you to do is to try and keep the legs as straight as you can, point the toes, and we're just doing the legs coming down just above the ground. Try not to touch, and then bring it up to a straight leg. Now, don't come any further over than a right angle, okay? So as the legs come up, just right up to the right angle, and then back down. All right, we've got five, four, three, two, one and just rest for a second. You're going to get 15 seconds off in between each exercise. Next one coming up is going to be our mountain climber. Timer says five, four, three, two, one. And we're trying to do this nice and slow and controlled. So the leg comes up and then we tuck to the side and then we come back and then right down onto the ground. All right, we're trying to keep a nice flat plank. You're coming up, twist, back, and done. And again, nice and controlled. All right. This set of eight exercises are the eight easiest ones. As we go through the series, we're going to go through them and make them harder and harder as the time goes on. But this video is just our straightforward, perfect for the start of January, and just a nice, easy place for us to start. Legs come forward. Three, two, one, and rest. Well done. Good job. Fill the, air, the lungs with air, make sure that you're still keeping well oxygenated. This time we're going to bring the two elbows down onto the ground and just the tailbone. Three, two, one, we point the toes, we're coming up in the tuck position and then we're coming all the way out as far out as you can reach but no touch on the ground. Okay, bringing the knees all the way in. The only thing touching the ground should be your two elbows and your tailbone. Okay, all the way out and all the way in. Try to make that as long a movement as you can so the feet come right out as far as you can extend and then bringing them right into that tuck position as tight as you can bunch yourself up. We've got a few seconds left on this one. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Well done, good job. We've got 10 seconds and then we're into our next exercise which is gonna be cradle rock. Now, for this one, we're bringing the whole spine into connection with the floor. So I want you to tuck your tailbone in, nice and tight. Hands come across, and we're up into cradle rock. Knees come up, and then we let them fall to the side. Now what you're trying to do is to squeeze over it as far as you can, and then steady yourself right back up, and then fall to the opposite side. Now the idea is that the further you lean, the more you have to fight with your abs to keep yourself locked in place and to keep this under control, okay? So keep the legs at a right angle, they fall to the side, and then they come up, and then you allow them to fall out and over to the other side. If you over-rotate, you'll feel your shoulder coming up off the ground, and you're trying to fight to keep the abs nice and locked so that the whole thing is controlled. And relax, good job. That's us halfway through. Next one we're gonna do is from downward facing dog into a leg drive. So you're going to come to the back of the mat, spread your legs apart ever so slightly, and we're coming down in the downward facing dog. Okay, so we want the bum up, legs nice and flat, and we come forward with the knee right through the drive, and then come all the way up, point the bum out, and keep those legs straight, tucking the head in. Drive it out as far as you can, and then all the way back, and up into that tuck position, driving the heels down on the ground, keeping the legs as straight as you can. Halfway through the time, Keep going, all 
the way back out. And we come forward, trying to bring that knee right between the legs on each rotation. And we keep working as hard as we can. Now, like I said, you might be finding this set quite straightforward. That's us done for that exercise. 15 seconds rest again. But you will find that as you go through these sets, we've got eight different uh, sets of coming up, different exercises on each one. We're going to go back into that elbow position for the next one. The two elbows on the ground and the tailbone on the ground. And then we're going to do an, a, a cycle. So the right leg comes up and then the right, left leg comes up. So it's similar to before, the only thing in connection with the ground is the tailbone and the tip of the two elbows. And on this one what we want as we rotate out is to feel the rotation in the hips. So you want to see that left hip dropping right down as low as you can and then the right one dropping out. But again, no touch on the ground on each side. 10 seconds to go on that one. And then we've got two nice easy planks to finish off. So for exercise seven, we're going to do a plank on the left hand side and then we're going to do a plank on the right hand side. So just relax there on the end of that timer. <coughs> this next one's just going to be straightforward side plank. So we're going to put our left foot on top of our right foot and then the right arm comes down, hand comes up onto the hip and we're going to lift up and make that as straight as we can. Now there's no movement involved in this one. We're just going to hold this side plank for the full 40 seconds and then we'll take the 15 second break and then when we're done with that, we'll have a go on the other side. That brings you to halfway in your timer, 20 seconds to go. If you're finding this really easy, you can bring your hand up. And if you want to make it harder again, you can bring your foot up as well. It makes it a little bit harder on that side. And five, four, three, two, and one, relax. And then we've got a 15 second rest. And we'll turn over and you can do it again on the other side. So nice right angle in the arm, hand comes up onto the hip, right foot comes onto the top of the left foot and in three, two, one, we rise up and into that plank position. This is going to be the last exercise today. Now we're going to encourage you that one exercise or one rotation is for beginners. Two rotations through this set of exercises is for an intermediate. Three is really excellent if you can do that, and if you can go through this set four times, then we're going to be very, very impressed with you indeed. 15 seconds to go, and then we get to the end. Thank you for joining us today. <coughs> Got five to go. Let's see it right through. Four, three, two, one, and relax. So from this point guys, we're going to give you a one minute water break. If this is the end of your first set, then what we would advise you to do is to go back to the start of the video and let's have another go through that rotation. You're aiming for up to four sets in total, which will make for a really, really good core workout. Thank you very much for joining us if you've got to the end of the training and uh, good luck. I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you again next time. It's a